It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. Last October, so-called South Africa was rocked by a powerful student movement, which paralyzed the country with three weeks of intense protests sparked by a proposed tuition increase. Under the banner of Fees Must Fall, thousands of pissed off students stormed the parliamentary precinct in Cape Town and marched on the headquarters of the African National Congress, or ANC, in Durban and Johannesburg. This wave of struggle culminated on October 23rd, when tens of thousands of protesters rallied outside the office of the country's corrupt neoliberal strongman, Jacob Zuma, throwing down with the pigs and torching several porta potties. Faced with the protesters' unwavering determination and the sheer fucking size of the crowds, Zuma backed down. There will be a zero increase of university fees. But rather than settling for this minor concession, student organizers have kept their eye on the motherfucking prize namely free universal education and an end to the deep structural racism that continues to divide the nation into haves and have-nots. Despite the fall of apartheid in 1994, South Africa remains one of the most economically polarized countries on earth. In fact, under the ANC, inequality has only gotten worse. Almost 80% of its population are indigenous Africans, yet Thanks to the nation's colonial history, whites still own over 70% of the fucking land. And despite being the second largest economy in Africa, millions of its inhabitants live in sprawling rural slums, struggling to survive on less than a dollar per day. Life is very rough. There are more than 40 of us sharing one toilet and a tap. Zuma has been on the rope since 2013, after it was discovered that he spent shit tons of public skrilla on opulent renovations to his casa. In recent months, a growing movement has been calling for him to be impeached and for an end to the ANC's 22-year rule. So, within this context of political crisis, the student movement exploded back on the scene in mid-February to remind peeps that shit is still fucking on. On February 15th, students at the University of Cape Town erected a corrugated tin shack on campus to highlight the lack of affordable housing available for students. Pigs responded with flashbang grenades, which kicked things off. Militants soon torched two vehicles, including a university shuttle bus, then proceeded to engage the popo in pitched street battles late into the night. On February 22nd, student and campus workers at the University of Free State disrupted a school rugby match to demonstrate their opposition to staff outsourcing and to show solidarity with striking workers. Soon after the disruption, a mob of white spectators swarmed the field and began attacking the protesters in a gross display of racist violence. Two days later, at the Northwest University in Mafeking, the school administrator appointed a new student representative council after dissolving the previous one for being too fucking radical. In the protest that followed, a private security guard opened fire with live ammunition, with some reports suggesting that a student was killed. In response, militants torched several campus buildings leading to a total suspension of classes. At the time of this writing, protests are continuing in numerous universities across the country and show no signs of stopping anytime soon. Oh!